how you get to yourself how do you find your true self how you get to that point where it's like damn i found clarity i found focus i'm clear-minded now when i wake up i actually know how to think through things and, and, and strategize and take something from a to z you know what i'm saying like finding that clarity and that focus is key because that's when a person get to live on a mental edge and a mental edge is when you at your level of greatness you know what i'm saying like i think people go forever take it for granted but i ain't a motivational speaker man i'm an educator and inspire you know what i'm saying a, a philosopher if you will so i want those that want to lock in tap in you know what i mean greatness don't never die man it turns into a legacy for people to learn from that's what we doing Nah, I'm not Malcolm X. Malcolm X's daughter do follow me, man, and I do want the good sister to be on a high-level conversation so we can talk about her father. You know what I'm talking about? That's what, how about we do that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of it. Like, I want to, I, I don't mind helping continue the man's legacy because what Malcolm X did do is he demonstrated. He demonstrated what it's like to be a nigga make all the greatest mistakes, be a pimp, drug dealer, then had a comp in his hair, be at the lowest lows, zoo suits, <laughs> zoo suits knocking down every white girl scene, and then to gain some knowledge, knowledge that transformed the mind, the body, the spirit, right? And to embody that in a way where his demonstration, his teaching, and who he became transformed and inspired the world based on the teachings that he took and he utilized. So when I look at Malcolm X, I see a story of redemption and a story of transformation. That's what it's about. Nobody look at Malcolm X and say, you know, Malcolm X was a pimp. I don't like him. No, he was able to get past that phase in his life to become great. That's what it's about. <laughs> So when I look at when I listen to that story, I make I get completely different things maybe than the average person. Because Malcolm X was a symbol. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. So shit, I can't wait to write my book one day, my autobiography. Uh, and you know, inshallah I can detail some of my mishappenings and mistakes as well, and you can see how far we came from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? To where we are now. But, you know, I just pray every day I wake up and I make a lot proud. I don't even think it's, somebody say I'm humble. I don't even think it's humility, man. I just think that it's, it's just hella work to do. <laughs> Be honest like with you. something to do again. Something yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's like you meet, you meet Kobe on his first season. And you think he being humble. He like, nah, I got to win championships. Then he won one championship, you think he's being humble. Like, no, nah, I ain't gonna lie, it ain't even humility, bro. In my mind, I gotta get, I gotta win two. He get the two, and you like, nah, you don't get it, man. I'm trying to win three. I'm trying to be all time scorer. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even the humility, it's, it's forward thinking. Like, man, we just got more shit to do, so I can't be sitting praising myself for what was done versus being in the mindset of developing myself to become who needs to do what's next. So for me, it ain't got nothing to do with humility. And that's what it comes off as. But it's just more so forward thinking. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. I got a long way to go for me to be extremely proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? And for me to say that we've reached this benchmark, man, I got to put the family together. I need I need everybody. I need everybody around me eating, man. You know what I'm saying? When you see me slow down and start goddamn uh, being cocky, man, we, I mean, we didn't reach, we didn't did something that... We got down. I don't even know, man. We didn't <laughs> we didn't terraform the planet, man. We didn't change things in a level to where you gonna be like, shit, he deserved to. It, it gets to a point where even if I was trying to be cocky, I would still say it's humble for what we done did. You know what I'm saying? So until then, man, we got a lot of work to do, and, and we gonna keep working. And um, you know, I can't wait to just meet more people and build with more people and set more examples and keep going like that and keep going like that. You feel me? That's what it's about. And I appreciate all y'all that's in the comments with all the good love and the good energy. You know what I mean? Because y'all be locked in. And, and, and you know, y'all the army, man. Y'all the people. So, you know, people always say protect keys at all costs. 
right? We say that to great people whom we think are national treasurers. What that means that, you know, if you see some bullshit, man, point it out. You know what I'm saying? Step up, say something. You feel me? We need, we need, we need soldiers. You feel me? People that's gonna press a hard line for what we do. You know what I'm saying? Because if I don't do it, then nobody's doing it. So, you know, the impact is being alive and executing based on what my purpose is and letting that impact reach and reverberate throughout the world. And that right there can't be taken away and can't be stopped.